Hello there, Wargaming Enthusiasts, and welcome back to Combat Mission Red Thunder, where our infantry is moving up and we get our people into scouting positions. But... It's a pretty slow turn as well. Uh, although we do get some intelligence. For instance, we see this panther here. Um, yep, that's certainly a panther. It's um, actually placed in a slightly different position than I feared it might be. Although there is something in here as well. I don't know what. Something. Um, we can also see some enemy um, Kobelwagens moving up and some mystery unit out here, which is probably some sort of light equipment. I don't think it's a tank, it's slightly too fast to be a tank. And our smoke is dispersed as follows. It's not great, I, sh I, I have to say. Oh, we see a couple of more panthers. Um, so they seem to be set up in such a way that they would have to actually move up to fire, which is interesting. Because I don't think they have the uh, gun depression to fire at us over there. Um, well, maybe they do, I don't know. But it's a hope that they don't, especially if we move downhill. Okay, so that's how that. And... Um, yeah, it's certainly a problem that we see these guys over here, um, and it's certainly a problem that the smoke has not really done its job. Um, the Kubelwagens are no big deal. Um, we can deal with them whenever, but yeah, let's see. Yeah, these guys are done firing. That's all the smoke we get, which is a little annoying, but what can you do? Oh, we'd actually see what's going on here. That's like another Kubelwagen. Okay, the enemy has a whole troop of Kubelwagens. Well done. Um, yeah, so what are we going to do with our troops right now, is the question. Well, I think we're going to actually refrain from firing. Because we're probably not going to hit anything right now, so let's cease fire on that. And let's cease fire on that as well. And we're going to take one of these guys, we're going to take the mortars, and we're going to do some area firing over here. Um, let's see, let's think this through. Because basically I want some area fire into the town as we're going to move in, but problem is we don't really know where the enemy is heading to be honest I don't have a spotter who can put down fire over here which is a little bit of a problem but we can probably not worry about that too much yeah we should be um, I will have to figure out whether I want to move or not with these guys it's not the situation I wanted, um, although I imagine the smoke is going to uh, spread out a little bit more. There's still a couple of more shells that just uh, a couple more shells that just landed. Um, we see this Koopa wagon over here. Probably sees our sniper out there. Um, let's try and get him in there, at the very least. These guys are seen by whom exactly? Oh, by these scouts. This guy's seen by these scouts, okay. And these guys are seen by those guys, okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what exactly is the peril of moving up these guys right now and uh, pick a route for them and decide whether I'm going to move all five of them which is the initial plan, or whether I'm going to just move in a uh, sort of light um, force consisting of just the platoon, just the three, these three tanks, which is another possibility. And that way, if it all goes tits up, um, we don't lose as big of a force. But if it does go tits up, um, then we've got a bit of a problem. We we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do next. And also, um, 
it's very unlikely that we're going to be able to move in reinforcements down there because there, we, we don't have any more smoke. So, no smoke means we are not getting anybody through here, anybody downhill from here, until we eliminate the enemy um, resistance. And we're not going to be eliminating any enemy resistance with those three panthers up there, or at least I don't think so. So the question is, how dangerous is this going to be? How well is the smoke going to spread out? So the plan is right now for me to uh, figure out a route, figure out how dangerous it is, figure out um, exactly who I'm going to send, and uh, basically um, wait and see how the smoke behaves. If the smoke covers up um, well enough, covers us well enough, then we're going to risk a bigger assault. If the smoke doesn't cover us enough, then we're going to risk a smaller assault. Or if I'm feeling especially ha hazard driven, um, then I might just try a bigger assault anyway. And uh, lose most of them hor horribly. Anyways, yeah, so that's what I'm going to get on. I'm going to make some decisions off camera and stuff like that, and we're you're going to see the results later on. Uh, the remainder of the force is going to remain largely unmoved. Uh, maybe I'm going to move up some of these scouts over here, but it's not a huge deal right now. These guys will get into position over here, actually, since the enemy is not firing on that position yet. Um, yeah, and we're going to see... well, these guys might be in a bit of trouble, I think, if we see uh, that Kobelwagen, that Kobelwagen probably sees us as well. So... Hmm. Anyways, I'll get on the orders, I'll figure this situation out, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys next turn then. Bye!